I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife. And she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an old man, drawn with a team of little atomies over men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers, her traces of the smallest spider's web, her collars of moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film, the wagoner a small grey-coated gnat, not half so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel, or old grub, time. Out of mind, the fairy's coach makers. And in this state, she gallops night by night through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. A courtier's knees who dream on curtsies straight, a lawyer's fingers who straight dream on fees, a lady's lips who straight on kisses dream. Who chop the angry mab with blisters plagues because their breath with sweetmeats tainted are. Sometimes she driveth o'er a soldier's neck and then dreams he of cutting foreign throats. Of breaches, ambuscados, Spanish blades of healths five fathoms deep. And then anon drums in his ears of which he starts and wakes and being thus frighted, swears a prayer or two and sleeps again. This is the very Mab that plats the manes of horses in the night, <laughs> bakes the elf locks in foul, sluttish hairs which once untangled. Much misfortune burns. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs that presses them Learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she. <laughs> I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain. God of nothing but vain.